Australian authorities on Friday say they have commenced an operation to protect the personal information of 10,000 people whose data may have been shared online after a cyber attack on Optus, the country's second largest telecommunication company. The computer hacker who stole personal data of almost 10 million customers of a telecommunication company in one of Australia's worst privacy breaches used techniques to conceal their identity, action and whereabouts. Australian Federal Police Assistant Commissioner Justin Gu, who had cyber investigations in the international probe that includes the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation into the opposite cyber attack last week, would be long and complex. Can I reiterate, the AFP and law enforcement across Australia are taking this crime very seriously. Cybercrime is the break and enter of the 21st century and we encourage all Australians to be extra vigilant about their online security at this time. The Australian government blames lack cyber security at Optus, Australia's second largest wireless carrier of the theft of current and former customer personal information. Optus maintains it was the target of the sophisticated cyber attack that penetrated several layers of security. This is going to be a long and complex investigation and uh, it involves uh, large data sources, uh, multiple inquiries. We are aware that the offender has used obfuscation techniques to hide their identity, uh, their activities and their locations, but we are pursuing a range of uh, lines of, of inquiry and, uh, and those will continue for some time. While details of 9.8 million Optus customer were stolen, authorities are most concerned for more than 10,000 customers whose records were dumped on the dark web on Tuesday as part of the extortion attempt. The hacker later withdrew $1 million ransom demand in past they apologized for the crime and claimed that all the stolen data had been destroyed. Experts are skeptical. Australian Prime Minister said Optus had agreed to pay to replace the passports of the compromised customers. I support the AFP in the response uh, that they've undertaken. Um, Optus have responded uh, to uh, my request uh, that I made both in the Parliament uh, and that uh, Senator Wong made in writing to Optus. They will cover the costs of replacing affected customers' passports. I think that's entirely appropriate. Some Australian state government have said they will replace driver's license of compromised Optus customers.